Hey guys, what's going on? This is Mike Collette of CrossFit Prototype. Uh, I'm going to go through a couple different hip hinging movements that can be progressions um, to the kettlebell swing or even deadlift, um, but also we can use it from a movement prep standpoint when prepping any sort of hip hinging movement. So that's anything like a from a deadlift to a clean or even to a kettlebell swing. So the first exercise is called an RDL stretch. And what we're going to do, you're going to use a kettlebell here for this exercise. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that kettlebell, you're actually going to bring it behind your back okay I'm gonna come here it was like a prisoner stance okay I'm gonna let my shoulder blades drop it's gonna pull me into a good extend extension position okay my chin is gonna be packed and neutral and all I want to do from here is push my hips back and hinge over at my waist so this is gonna keep my shoulders back my chin neutral come back to that extended position keeping those ribs down so we don't want to be flaring and overextending here you want the ribs to continue to be down. Pull that kettlebell. Hips come back. Feel a nice stretch into those hamstrings. Hips forward. Come all the way back up to the top. So again, all I'm doing in this position is pushing my hips back. The knee angle is not changing. Hinging over at my waist. I feel a nice stretch into my hamstrings. Hips come forward. Finish the movement at the top. And that is the RDL stretch. Next exercise that we're going to do is called a Bulgarian goat bag stretch. Okay, this is something that I picked up again at the three-day summit, uh, perform better from Dan John exercise that I really, really like. It's an exercise that you can progress or regress um, the kettlebell swing, also a great prep movement. So what we're gonna do, same similar thing, same similar foot stance, about hip width, shoulder width apart. We're gonna now, same, same process that we did with the RDL stretch, it's just a hip hinge pattern. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take that kettlebell we're actually going to push that into your abs. Okay, so pushing is gonna give you some feedback to turn those abs on. Now, here's my sternum, here's my xiphoid process, kind of where my ribs meet. We're not going there, we're going on your abdominal wall. So we're here, we're gonna push that in, gather some breath, hips come back, so we get a nice stretch into those hamstrings. Hips come forward, exhale the top. So pack chin, push in, get some breath, hips back, Hinge over, keeping that back nice and neutral until we get that stretch in those hammies. Hips come forward at the top. Now we can do this for repetitions as well. Similar to the kettlebell swing. So again, just ensuring those abs turning on, hips are coming back, nice stretch and prep work for the back of the legs for any of those hip hinge patterns. So again, the two moves that we just went over, the RDL stretch, kettlebell behind the back and the uh, Bulgarian goat bag which is the kettlebell into the abdominal walls both hip hinging. Thanks guys.